This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. We are moving on to our next bracket of competition in the 2017 fall season of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. You're going to see some familiar faces joining us. We have Defiance taking on Wayne Trace, and a little bit later, you're going to see Versailles face off against Elmwood. We want to introduce you to our players. Joining us from Defiance High School, we have Connor Black, Ava Dirk, Maddie Carolis and Ethan McCabe, and Defiance is coached by James Kerr. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Wayne Trace. Joining us is Connor Balmley, <coughs> Chloe Stabler, Catherine Strabel, and Tice Homeyer. And Wayne Trace is coached by Teresa Homeyer. All right, everybody, let's make sure that you speak up as loudly as you can. All right, we have our Coach Mark Dickman over here that will um, be answering any questions that we may have regarding the answers you give us. So we hope we don't have to go to him, but speak up and make your answers as complete as possible. 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Everybody ready to go? Sure. All right, the five rings of the Olympic emblem symbolize what? Defiance. The continents. Could you expand that? Like the continents of the countries that participate in the Olympics. We will accept that. All right, question number two. What is the largest bone in the human body? Yes, defiance. Uh, the spine. Spine is incorrect. Wayne Trace, you want to try? Yes, femur. Femur is the answer. Question number three. Ants are found on every continent but one. Yes, defiance. Antarctica. You are correct. What constitutional amendment granted women's suffrage in 19... Yes, that would be Wayne Trace. The 19th Amendment. 19th is correct. I know. In what city does the United Nations have its headquarters? Yes, Wayne Trace. New York City. New York City is correct. What devastating event is caused by an earthquake under... Yes, defiance? Tsunami. Tsunami is correct. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from what country? Defiance. France. France is correct, back in 1886. Which islands were once called the Sandwich Islands? Yes, defiance? The Cook Islands. I'm sorry? The Cook Islands. That is incorrect. So Wayne Trace, you've got a chance with this. Yes. The Channel Islands. Also incorrect, the answer is the Hawaiian Islands. All right, two questions remaining in round one here. Who was Pennsylvania named after? Yes, that would be Defiance. William Penn. William Penn is correct. And here's your final question in round one. In what year did the U.S. drop the little boy? Yes, that would be Defiance. 1945. You are correct, very good. All right, we've come to the end of round one between Defiance and Wayne Trace. Here's our score. Defiance, you have 60 points. Wayne Trace with 30. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after this. Tonight's Whiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu. And by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, welcome back, everyone. We've got a game going now between Defiance High School and Wayne Trace. Here's our score Defiance with 60 points. Wayne Trace with 30, that means defiance. You're gonna get these first five questions with five points apiece. Please buzz in, okay? What high profile real estate developer billionaire became president? Yes. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is correct. What is the smallest province of Canada? Yes. Prince Edward Island. You are correct. What was the first video game to feature the character Mario? 
Yes. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is correct. What character is voiced by Eddie Murphy in the Shrek series? Yes. Donkey. Donkey is correct. And what is made by a cartographer? Yes. Maps. Maps is the answer. Very good. All right. Wayne Trace, here's your chance now. Five questions are all yours. Ready? Of the six Star Wars films, how many did George Lucas direct? I think I know this. Yes. Three? Three is incorrect. Four is the answer. Name the heroine of the story, The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Dorothy. Dorothy is correct. Which U.S. president was the first to be elected with a two-term, two-year term limit? Oh. Yes. Truman? That is incorrect. Eisenhower mm -hmm. is the answer. All right, what social media site's logo is a ghost cartoon named... Yes? Snapchat. I'm sorry? Snapchat. Snapchat is correct. No face Chila, is that how you say that? Chilla? No face Chilla. All right, final question. In 1966, the U.S. Surgeon's Warning first appeared on the label of what product? Tobacco. I'm going for it. Yes. Tobacco? Tobacco is, can you be more specific with your answer? Uh, cigarettes. That's it. All right, very good. Okay, moving on to our final 10 questions, our final round of questions. Here's our score, Wayne Trace with 45 points, Defiance with 85. Everybody ready, get the buzzers ready. Name the first woman to be appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. Yes, Defiance? Sandra Day O'Connor. That is correct. In which American national park would you find the natural geyser called Old Yes, that would be Defiance. Yellowstone. That is correct. All right, moving on to number three. Name the Zeppelin that burned in May. Yes, that would be Defiance. The Hindenburg. The Hindenburg is correct. Published in 1814, Mansfield Park is a novel that was written by whom? Yes, Wayne Trace. White. That is incorrect. Defiance, you've got a chance. Yes. Charles Dickens. It is also incorrect. Jane Austen is the author. All right, question five. Who invented the analytical engine in 1837, a design that the framework of today's computers are based on? <laughs> Time is up. The answer is Charles Babbage. All right, moving on to question six. Which Ohio City is home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yes, Defiance. Cleveland. Cleveland is correct. Death Valley is located in what? Yes, Defiance. California. California is the answer. All right, teams, you have three questions remaining. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech was given in front of what memorial? Wayne Trace. Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Memorial is correct. Ralph Nader first became famous for taking on what major industry? Yes, Wayne Trace. Oil. Oil is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try it? Yes. The railroad industry. The rail industry is also incorrect. The auto industry is the answer there. All right, your final question in this game. Pierre is the capital of, yes, Defiance? South Dakota. South Dakota is the answer. All right, good job. We've come to the end of our game between Defiance and Wayne Trace High Schools. Here is the score. Wayne Trace with 55 points, Defiance with 145. Congratulations. You are going to be moving on and uh, getting very close to the championship. And Wayne Trace, we want to thank you for joining us again this year. We'll be back with our second game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you.
and by the Tom All family of dealerships. Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we just wrapped up a game between Defiance and Wayne Trace. Defiance came out the winner there. They will be taking on the winner of this game now between Elmwood and Versailles High Schools. And we want to welcome back our players. We do have some new faces, though, joining us from Elmwood. Let's introduce you now. We have Joe Labry, Karma McGuire, Dylan Gein, and Wyatt Nagel. And Elmwood is coached by Hope Hopkins Fawcett. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Versailles High School. Familiar faces here. Um, we have Sam Eiding, Tessa Tayo, Andrew Hickman, and Sam Stockler. And Versailles is coached by Margie Trion. Welcome back. All right, we have 10 questions here. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody make sure you get the buzzers ready. Speak up so that our judge can hear you as well as the people playing at home and make your answers as complete as possible, okay? Here we go, question one. Which bird is the national animal of the United States of, yes, Elmwood? Bald eagle. Bald eagle is the answer. Charles Lindbergh flew from New York to what city? Yes, for sales. Paris. Paris is the answer. World War II's big three were the U.S., Britain, and, yes, Elmwood? USSR. You are correct. Who was vice president when President Lincoln was assassinated? Yes, Versailles? Andrew Johnson. That is the correct answer. All right. Number five, the theory of relativity was developed by whom? Yes, Versailles. Albert Einstein. You are correct. All right, number six. What duo accomplished the first powered and yes, that would be Versailles? Orville and Wilbur Wright. You are correct. The first powered and controlled heavier than air flight. All right. Mark David Chapman murdered whom in 1980? The answer teams is John Lennon from the Beatles. All right, question eight. What home decorating guru served five months in jail for, yes, that would be Elmwood? Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart is correct. What is the name of the headquarters for the London Police Force? Yes, Elmwood. Scotland Yard. That is the answer. And your final question in this first round. The world's largest Frog is named after which biblical character? Versailles. Goliath. Goliath is correct. All right. We've come to the end of our first round. And we've got a close game. Elmwood with 40 points. Versailles with 50. That means Versailles, you're going to take these first five questions worth five points apiece. Please ring in with your answers. Who was named Time Magazine Person of the Year for 2016? Yes. Donald J. Trump. That is correct. All right. Founded in 1607, what is considered to be the first permanent English settlement in the New World? Yes. Jamestown. Expand it. Virginia. That is correct. Okay. Number three, what is Hillary Clinton's maiden name? Yes. Clinton. That is incorrect. The answer is Rodham. All right. What does a hydrologist study? Yes. Water. Water is the answer. And here's your final question in this round. The only two presidents to serve during the 18th century were George Washington and whom? Yes. John Adams. John Adams is correct. All right, moving over to Elmwood now. Everybody set here? Okay, five questions worth five points apiece. Please buzz in. In the game of chess, what piece moves in an L shape? Yes, Elmwood. The knight. 
night is correct. What type of insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? Yes. Scorpion. Scorpion is incorrect. Locust is the answer. What guitarist and inventor pioneered the solid body electric guitar? Time is up. The answer is Les Paul. All right. In the Disney animated film Bambi, what kind of animal is flower? Yes. Skunk. You are correct. It's a skunk. Good job. Final question here. Sitting Bull defeated George Armstrong Custer at what battle? Yes. The Battle of Little Bighorn. You are correct. Very good. All right. We've come to the end of rounds one and two. Here is our score. Versailles with 70 points. Elmwood with 55. We'll be back with our final 10 questions right after the break. Stay right there. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. All right, you've turned in or tuned in to a really good game now between Versailles and Elmwood High Schools. The score right now, Elmwood with 55 points, Versailles with 70. And we are now entering our final round of questions. We're 10 points apiece. Everybody get your buzzers ready and let's have fun with this. Question one, Watson, Crick and Wilkins are famous for what scientific discovery? Yes, that would be Versailles. Um, discovering the shape of DNA. We'll accept that. Very good. All right, moving on to question number two. Henry Ford is remembered as the father of what procedure? Yes, Versailles. The assembly line. The assembly line is correct. From 1892 until 1954, this was the busiest immigration station. Yes, Elmwood. Ellis Island. Ellis Island is the answer. All right, question number four. Who baptized Jesus? Versailles. John the Baptist. You are correct. All right. Who was known as the mother of the civil rights movement? Yes, that would be Versailles. All right, we're going to turn it over to Elmwood now for a try. Yes. Susan B. Anthony. That is also incorrect. Rosa Parks is the answer. All right. What evangelical preacher became a national figure in 1949? Yes, for sales. Martin Luther. That is incorrect. Elma, do you want to try it? Billy Graham is the answer. All right, question number seven. Once called Armistice Day, November 11th is now called, yes, Elmwood. Veterans Day. Veterans Day, you're correct. All right. What word describes a number system with a base of two? Yes, for sales. By numerical. That is incorrect. Elma, do you want to try it? No, the answer is binary. All right, two questions remain in your game. What is New York City's nickname? Versailles. The Big Apple. The Big Apple is correct. And here's your final question. Give the date of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Yes, Versailles. December 7th, 1941. That is correct. Very good. All right. We've come to the end of our game between Versailles and Elmwood High Schools. And here is the final score. Elmwood, you had 75 points. And Versailles, you are the victor with 120 points. So congratulations. 
Elmwood, thank you for joining us this year. It's been a pleasure, and we want to um, congratulate you on, on your performance this year. But Versailles, you'll be moving on in competition, so congratulations to you. Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.